Where's the doors? And my inventory. Great. Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Soap the Great, and I am back on the Too Crafty Vanilla Amplified server. How's everyone doing? I hope you're doing well. If you have been paying attention for some time, you will know where I am, but for those of you that are new, and a big welcome to all the new subscribers, we are in the commercial district on the Too Crafty server. So, got a couple shops there and there, got these Bakery right there, and then Zade Mart right here, and while we're at it, let's see... How things have been going here yeah well we still got some fireworks in there good stuff Zade has been rather busy in real life and so he hasn't been on the server as much lately so uh, I was wondering if those were stocked up but today we're over here because I've got an idea for a shop let me just set this up for you we're still in the process of filling up videos for the move and um, and I've, I've talked about that a little bit on the channel and so today is is no different we're gonna take a break from the Guardian farm though that's been the latest project and we're gonna come over here now if you remember last time we were together we cleared out the ocean monument and the seafloor and we got a lot of uh, gravel okay so this is just a small sample I filled up a couple of more storage minecarts in my storage system with gravel and I really want a place to get rid of it okay and uh, I figure an outlet shop would be pretty good we can try and trade for something I'm not entirely sure what the prices are gonna be but we're gonna build an outlet shop for gravel and other blocks that you'll see actually I've got it right here yeah and and you might be wondering what in the world is soap doing with all of those blocks and you can take a look at my inventory what's going on here soap you got a lot of ugly blocks in there yeah we're going to be building the ugly block shop yep so a, a couple of, of episodes ago I built a, a little uh, little prank for mr. Zade and um, yeah, I was over on his property, and the problem is that because it was a prank, I'm not sure the lifespan that we can expect from it. So he did say that he wanted to keep it, but uh, you never know. You never know. So, yeah, what I'm going to be doing is just coming in here and building a little something something. I want to preserve the ugly block shop for posterity so what I'm gonna do is just put this together here we gotta come this way to get the the face to turn out I don't want the face on the pumpkins to show because that is rather ugly um, I don't have enough space in here for all the blocks I need that should be good yeah so let's just do that yep and uh, here we go and well, soul sand you if, if you notice if you go if you walk on it you notice how the the view changes see that you go down a little bit it's like a half block lower not even a half block it's like a one layer lower it's really weird I wonder if, you, if you could notice that here look at the Z no the Y coordinates is currently 75 yeah 74.875 so it's like it's like one snow layer less which is really interesting so if you're on on the side and you're trying to place a block it's not gonna work yeah so that's what I was trying to do there let's just put this here what I want to do is build this front face first and then I'll continue it on all the way around actually that is supposed to be the door but uh, that's not a problem not a problem at all so I've brought my soap touch here so I should be able to get that glass right back okay so we'll go here I'm doing in heights of two because that's pretty easy to manage and let's start getting some of this other decoration going like so and there and there and there okay you with me so far yeah the the reason I'm doing this is um, you get a little bit of 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 some detail work so what I was going to do is build the whole face and kind of show you my thought process in it what I wanted to do is get get 
a little bit of depth here. Okay, so you've just got this front face with a bunch of ugly blocks on it. And yeah, that, that goes there. And uh, and yeah, it breaks it up by putting putting some stairs and slabs in place. No, not there. Yeah, I need my... When you start working with logs and stairs and slabs and stuff like that, you really need your axe on hand. So there we go. Okay, so that's part of the front face. Let's finish up up here. And we'll get rid of that and that. Bring some of that back in. And we'll still need that. Yeah. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good, good, good. Uh, no, not quite. Yeah, the builder's inventory. It's it's lovely. Yeah. And so, yeah, I don't know how long Zade's going to keep it. And I wanted to make sure that we kept this in place. And, um, you know, if I remember correctly, there are no architectural standards boards on 2Crafty. There might be after this build goes in. But for now, it uh, shouldn't be a problem. We'll go up one more, and this is where the watermelon comes into play. And so what we're going to do in this shop is sell ugly blocks. So all the ugly blocks that you see right now, they're going to be in there. And I don't know what pricing structure we're going to have, but, but yeah, um, that's the idea. I don't know how well used this this uh, surface is going to be because again um, they, they are ugly blocks and uh, it's it's kind of funny so we'll do that yeah this one will be a little bit more difficult yeah there we go because again the the height change from soul sand come up here do another one and that should be good for now. Let's just drop down. Do that. That. Nope. Bring the axe. And you just got to be careful. Got to get the top half of, of that block if you want it to be upside down stairs. There. There. So you see what I'm doing is continuing the theme. Kind of framing these ugly blocks here. And... and adding a little bit of visual interest to get away from just the flat texture so in you know not considering the blocks that I've chosen if uh, you, you can use some of the principles here if you're if you got kind of a flat wall the best way to to dress it up is just add a little depth to it okay so maybe come out don't be afraid to come out a couple of blocks for your wall no, that doesn't go there. Um, what we're going to do is that, that. Okay. So, so yeah, don't be afraid to, you know, just just change it up. Maybe go two or three wide for your your wall. Did I finish? No, I I missed uh, missed that. Yeah. Um, and and that that really does help. It uh, gives gives a little bit of visual interest. Not that not that. Okay, so you kind of see what I'm working on, and uh, let's let's change out that door. By the way, got that. And where's the doors? In my inventory. Great. Yep, yep. There we go. Take out the glass. So if you're not familiar with this trick, you can take a Silk Touch book and put it on some shears and. For now, it's a bug in Minecraft that it does not take any durability damage when getting glass. See, when I want it upside down, I don't. And when I want it right side up, I don't. Wonderful. All right, and then bring in the door. Does that go like that? Is that right? Yeah. Oh, I see. And then another upside down stair there. There we go. So that's the front face done. What I'm going to do is carry that on around this way. Oh, not quite done. A couple more things. Almost forgot. There. You want to dress up the dress up a log. You know, just throw a button on it. There you go. So again, you can take some 
some principles from this, not necessarily the actual design, but some principles. Fence gates, fences, stairs, slabs, they really add visual interest. They help break up the, the monotonous of a, of a flat wall. And so you can do the same. That's kind of what I was doing with the Ugly Block Challenge. And, and yeah, so you can do that pretty much on any build. You, you see Zay does it. He's got different layers right here with the uh, iron fences or uh, iron iron bars and so that gives you know a couple layers within this flat area and then using window panes or glass panes instead of just regular glass blocks so you get like one two three four four layers within a two block depth okay so yeah use use those materials to your advantage but uh, yeah use the principles not necessarily the application here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to carry this design on around. We are going to go 15 by 15 so that we have a little bit more room than in the the prank building and that will give me enough places for for um, what are they? Chests to put all the, the items in. But, uh, but yeah, let me do that and then we'll come back and maybe get working on the roof. Alright, see you in a bit. Alright, we're back. Let's take a look here. So I've just continued that design. You're familiar with that already. Continued it all the way around. The only difference here is that this middle one should be glass on the sides and the back. And on the inside, or on this side, it should be a door. So let's come on through here. And we'll get up on top of the roof. And we'll get started on that. Okay, so let me get my inventory situated again. Let's see, what are we going to need? Slabs and stairs and jack-o'-lanterns and that should be good so yeah so what we're gonna do is put put stairs like this okay and that's gonna give us a little bit of a lip around the edge of the building so there we go and while we're doing this let's just chat so last week you saw the clearing out of the ocean monument okay and that was getting prepared for water clearing let me give you a little tip and not tip, but a little spoiler. I've cleared out the water already. You're wondering, why are you not running that video? Well, I want to break it up. I don't want to bore you with too much Guardian Farm right in a row. And we've got a lot still left to do on that. And I still want to make sure that I've got enough videos to cover when we do move. And uh, the process for getting the house ready for selling is going. It's going going pretty well the painters are uh, they've finished up most of the indoor stuff and they're they've turned their attention to the outdoor stuff the problem is today we've got thunderstorms forecast actually one has already gone by this morning and we'll see how well uh, that forecast plays out as the day goes on so we may not get to painting our deck this week it may have to wait until next week but uh, shutters are painted the front door is painted why why are you no work okay oh yeah that's right I figured out what the the problem is on on uh, stairs so if if you're on like um, you notice there's one level right here that that top level right there so I'm hitting that so that's two layers thick and this is one right here see that if you're trying to place stairs or place anything on that, you have to be looking at the the thick part right there. So so you have to be see if I did that. Well, no, it worked for me. Great. Turn me into a liar. Awesome. Maybe it's just on the corner blocks. We'll see once we get to this other side. So yeah, the painting is going, and then uh, I took a couple days off from work to to do some uh, some work around the house let's see if this will work right here yeah see it's not placing but I go over here place yeah so maybe it's just the corner blocks it's a lot easier to go from this side too um, I took a couple days off of work and moved some of the mulch that came in we got 15 cubic yards I don't know how many tons that is yeah there we go um, if you and uh, for those of you that are outside the US I don't know what uh, what the measurements usually come in maybe cubic meters I don't know you tell me if you're if you're outside of the US and you're getting landscaping supplies what what are the measurements um, 
I really want to know actually. So over here it's cubic yards, which is slightly less than a cubic meter. Um, but uh, or or it comes in tons, which I guess there's metric tons and short tons and yeah, measurements are are weird when you don't have the same standard. Of course, metric would be a lot easier than the imperial system that we're still on here in the US, but um, I can't single-handedly change that. So, so yeah, I prefer metric. It just makes a lot more sense. So we'll go here. Now we're going to fill in with the slabs. This means the slabs, this part, the inner part of the roof is going to be non-spawnable by default because it's slabs. But out here, this is a spawnable block. Upside down stairs, yeah, mobs can spawn on that, so that's why we put in the jack-o'-lanterns. Give a little bit extra light level, and uh, that'll make sure that we don't have any mob spawns up here. These, these roof right there, that is a mob farm. So, fellow two craftians, just uh, forewarning, you might have a creeper drop on your head. I've had it happen a couple times. Um, yeah, not fun. So, um... Yeah, so I've moved about half of the mulch piles. That's about seven and a half cubic yards. And I don't know how many wheelbarrows that works out to. It was a lot. I moved at least 20, 23 yesterday, which is kind of low, but I had to go to the store for some other stuff. So that cut into my day a bit. And then today I go back to work, so I won't be moving mulch. So I don't know when that's going to get done. It's going to get done within the next couple of weeks or so. For uh, for making sure the flower beds and stuff look good. So what's next? Uh, let's see. What else do I want to to talk about? Yeah. So I've already recorded the water clearing, and um, and then after that, well, we still got the rest of the guardian farm to do. Uh, let's see. Up here, we're almost done. We just got to put a slab right in there, and then we'll get to the middle. All right, yeah, I think we're done. So we'll drop down here, put, uh, put that there, and there we go. And do I have enough to do this? Let's see, stairs right here. Yeah, that worked out, and we still got some there. And then we'll just do this all the way around. I may run out of stairs here. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to go make some more. And then let's see what else. What do we got here? We can do this part. Again, what, what we're doing here is changing up the, the layers a little bit. Okay, so you, you see glass pane, solid block, fence, right? So one, one, two, three. Three layers of depth right there in one, two, two layers of, of actual um, actual uh, space, or two blocks of space. So I ran out of those. I need one more, uh, one more stair over there in front of the door. Yeah, so there we go. We'll just do that, and I'll get the fences off camera because I want to make sure we have enough time to really get to the floor. We'll do that. And then, do I have all the floor material? Yeah, I do. Good. So let's um, let's dig this out, and I'll get my shovel back, and we can get rid of all that stuff. And that, there we go. That's our flooring material. Now, before you cry, hacks on getting grass blocks. If you're not familiar with that, hopefully you are. If you've been playing Minecraft for a while you should know about that trick. That is a silk touch. I don't want that. I want... Uh... Oh, there's there's the dirt. That's what I wanted. I want the dirt to fill that in. I do want the grass blocks. I like having those around. It's always good if you want to just carry a grass floor somewhere. So this is a silk touch shovel and that gives you whatever it is that you're digging. So you'll need that for like Podzol, for grass and uh, what's the other one? Mycelium. But I don't think anybody has found a mushroom island on Two Crafty yet. 
Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we have that yet. And I haven't seen any pods all hanging around, so we may have seen those, but they have not shown up, or none of the pods all have shown up around the server that I can remember. So I, I could be mistaken. Do that, and there we go. And then we'll put our corner, corner anchors. Yep, we're just going all out on the ugly blocks here. Of course, the hay, hay bales look all right when you do this. They make a good carpet. It's a little bit better than the actual carpet. The actual carpet changes your height a little bit. Will I have enough? I don't know. Nope. Get back here. So yeah, so you got two different uh, two different textures on the hay bales, so you can vary that up, kind of like logs. Yeah, there's a little bit more. Good. So this is what we did on the on the prank, and uh, yeah, it turned out this one turned out really good. I I, uh, I think that was the best reception I've gotten on a video, at least on a let's play video, in uh, quite some time. So there we go. I think uh, I think we're done. We can get to the inner workings. Oh, it's nighttime. So let's just do this, and I'll, I'll stock it off camera. But uh, let's, let's see about getting getting a couple more fences. Yeah, I forgot to bring sticks over, which is it's kind of no, no, no. That's not it. Um, it's not good because I've got the witch farm right. And that means I've got plenty of sticks, but yeah, I just forgot it. So that means I have to use the acacia. So I've had to plant some more. You can see it. Uh, it was decaying earlier. It's all done now, I guess. Go there. Do more. I think. Yeah, as far as the details, we're done on the inside. So let's get get our um, silk touch pickaxe here. We're gonna move the ATM. Yeah, we'll do that, and that's just junk. Yeah, of course it's not junk. I am gonna take that back, but like seeds and stuff, you don't need that. And yeah, we'll we'll just go in here, set up some, set up the flow through the whole thing. We're gonna put the payment chest. Uh, why did I move that out of my inventory? So we'll go there, and we'll do sign on that. I move slightly. We'll just do payment. You know what? One emerald per item slot. Done. Okay. And then ATMs are usually kind of hidden off in the corner somewhere. So we'll just do that. No, no, no. Kind of center it. There we go. ATM. And then um, let's see what what's what are we gonna have? Um, gravel, nether rack, uh, soul sand, hay, watermelon, pumpkins. What is that? Is that pretty good? I mean, we could do acacia, but let's see how, what other blocks we got. It's acacia. Um, you know, with the Guardian Farm, there's going to be a a Prismarine shop later. Uh, somebody, somebody will do that. So, um, somebody that's doing uh, Kondrick is doing a Guardian Farm. So am I. So, we'll see who who ends up doing that. Um, yeah, I think that's good. We'll we'll just do we'll do um, like that. So I'll come in and fill this. We can we can do. Um, what do you think? That like that for. 32 gravel for an emerald? Is that too much gravel per emerald? And nether rack would just be like a stack of nether rack, but I don't have that on me. So I'll come in and fill this in um, a little later off camera. But uh, but yeah, there we go. So pretty simple, kind of kind of like the other shops here, kind of like Zade Mart and and the the potion shop. So just uh, yeah, there we go. We're gonna sell ugly blocks here, and I have preserved the ugly block uh, build for posterity's sake. And that reminds me, posterity, do you know what that means? For those of you that are in school, in the 
uh, lower ranges of grade school? What does posterity mean? And if you have some vocabulary that you would like me to try and incorporate, and it needs to be clean, okay, um, if you're your parent of a school age child and you want to incorporate some of their their vocabulary into something that they are watching well let me know I'll try and work in the words you know, send me a comment either here or on Twitter at MC Soap the Great or in general if you're if you just want to talk about this video or anything catch me in the comments below or on Twitter at MC Soap the Great and there will be a link at in the outro as well for that so there we go ladies and gentlemen oh hit the mouse hopefully you enjoyed and uh, I'll see you next time thanks so much for watching bye bye